Welcome to our virtual travel guide on Los Angeles, the City of Angels. In this video, we will show you some of the best things to do in this vibrant and diverse city, as well as some tips on how to save money and enjoy your trip. Let's get started. Los Angeles is the second largest city in the United States and the entertainment capital of the world. It is home to Hollywood, famous celebrities, iconic landmarks, and beautiful beaches. It also has a rich cultural heritage, a thriving art scene, and a variety of cuisines to suit every taste. But with so much to see and do, how do you plan your itinerary? Well, we have compiled a list of 15 popular and highly rated attractions that you should not miss when visiting Los Angeles. These are Getty Center. This stunning museum complex showcases European and American art from medieval times to the present day. It also has spectacular gardens, panoramic views of the city, and free admission. Did you know that the Getty Center is one of the most visited museums in the United States, with over 1.8 million visitors per year, and that it cost over $1 billion to build and took 13 years to complete? And then it has a tram that takes you from the parking lot to the hilltop where the museum is located. Huntington Library. This elegant estate houses one of the world's finest collections of rare books, manuscripts, and art. It also has 120 acres of botanical gardens featuring different themes such as Japanese, Chinese, desert, and rose. Did you know that the Huntington Library has over 9 million items in its collection, including a Gutenberg Bible, a Shakespeare First Folio, and a manuscript of Benjamin Franklin's autobiography? And that it has one of the largest collections of orchids in North America? And that it hosts an annual cactus and succulent show every June? Observatory. This iconic landmark offers amazing views of the Hollywood sign, the city skyline, and the stars. It also has a planetarium, exhibits, and telescopes that are free to use. Did you know that the Griffith Observatory was featured in many movies and TV shows, such as Rebel Without a Cause, La La Land, The Terminator, and The Simpsons? And that it was donated to the city by Griffith J. Griffith, who also donated Griffith Park? and that it has a Foucault pendulum that demonstrates the rotation of the Earth. Universal Studios Hollywood This theme park and movie studio lets you experience the magic of Hollywood firsthand. You can go behind the scenes of your favorite movies and shows, ride thrilling attractions, and meet your favorite characters. Did you know that Universal Studios Hollywood is one of the oldest and most famous movie studios in the world? And that it has attractions based on Jurassic World, The Simpsons, Harry Potter, The Fast and the Furious, and more. And that it has a studio tour that takes you through sets from Jaws, Psycho, King Kong, War of the Worlds, and more. Walk of Fame. This famous sidewalk honors more than 2,600 celebrities from film, television, music, radio, and theater. You can find your favorite star's names engraved on brass stars along Hollywood Boulevard and Vine Street. Did you know that the Hollywood Walk of Fame was created in 1958 as a way to promote tourism in Hollywood, and that each star costs $50,000 to install and maintain, and that there are four categories of stars, motion pictures, represented by a film camera, television, represented by a TV set, recording, represented by a phonograph record, and live performance, represented by a radio microphone. TCL Chinese Theater this historic movie palace is known for its lavish architecture and handprints of famous stars in the forecourt. It also hosts movie premieres and special events throughout the year. Did you know that the TCL Chinese Theater was originally called Grauman's Chinese Theater after its founder Sid Grauman, and then it was designed in the style of a Chinese temple, 
with a 90-foot-high pagoda and two stone lions guarding the entrance, and that the first handprint in the forecourt was made by Norma Talmadge, who accidentally stepped on wet cement during the construction of the theater? Paramount Picture Studios This is the only major film studio still located in Hollywood. You can take a guided tour of the studio lot and see where some of the most iconic movies and shows were made. Did you know that Paramount Picture Studios was founded in 1912 and is the oldest surviving film studio in America, and that it has produced classics such as The Godfather, Titanic, Forrest Gump, and Mission Impossible, and that it has a New York street set that replicates various locations in the Big Apple? Santa Monica Pier. This is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Los Angeles. It features an amusement park with a Ferris wheel, a carousel, arcade games, and live entertainment. It also has a beach, a boardwalk, and a variety of shops and restaurants. Did you know that the Santa Monica Pier was built in 1909 and is the oldest pier on the West Coast? And that it has a solar-powered Ferris wheel that lights up at night with 160,000 LED lights? and that it has a Route 66 sign that marks the end of the historic highway. Venice Beach Boardwalk This is one of the most colorful and lively places in Los Angeles. It is a hub for artists, performers, skaters, surfers, and people watching. You can also rent a bike or rollerblade along the 26-mile coastal path that stretches from Torrance Beach to Pacific Palisades. Did you know that Venice Beach Boardwalk was inspired by Venice, Italy and was originally built with canals and gondolas, and that it has a muscle beach area where bodybuilders work out and show off their muscles, and that it has a skate park where you can watch skaters perform tricks and stunts. This is one of the most popular shopping destinations in Los Angeles. It has a mix of high-end and affordable stores, a farmer's market, a movie theater, and a fountain that dances to music every hour. Did you know that The Grove opened in 2002 and attracts more than 18 million visitors per year? And that it has a trolley that runs between The Grove and the adjacent farmer's market? And that it has a giant Christmas tree and snowfall during the holiday season? CMA, Los Angeles County Museum of Art. This is the largest art museum in the Western United States. It has more than 150,000 works of art from ancient times to the present day. It also has outdoor sculptures, including the famous urban light installation by Chris Burden. Did you know that LACMA was founded in 1965 and covers more than 20 acres of land, and that it has collections from Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, and America? and that it has a levitated mass sculpture by Michael Heiser that consists of a 340-ton boulder suspended above a walkway. The Broad This is a contemporary art museum that showcases some of the most influential artists of our time. It has more than 2,000 works by artists such as Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Jeff Koons, and Yadoi Kusama. Admission is free, but advance reservations are recommended. Did you know that The Broad opened in 2015 and is named after its founders Eli and Edith Broad? And that it has an infinity mirrored room by Yayoi Kusama that creates an illusion of endless space with mirrors and LED lights, and that it has a vault gallery that displays artworks not on view to the public. Disneyland Resort This is the original Disney theme park that opened in 1955. 
It has eight themed lands with classic attractions, shows, and characters. It also has a sister park, Disney California Adventure, that features more modern and adventurous rides and entertainment. Did you know that Disneyland Resort is one of the most visited theme parks in the world, with over 18 million visitors per year? And then it has attractions based on Star Wars, and then it has attractions based on Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, and more. And then it has a fireworks show every night that lights up the sky above Sleeping Beauty Castle. The Getty Villa. This is a museum and educational center that focuses on the art and culture of ancient Greece, Rome, and Etruria. It is modeled after a Roman villa and has a collection of more than 44,000 antiquities. It also has gardens, fountains, and ocean views. Did you know that the Getty Villa was opened in 1974 and is the original location of the Getty Museum? And then it was closed for eight years for renovation and expansion. And then it has a theater that hosts performances of classical plays and music. Brynion Canyon Park. This is a popular hiking spot in the Hollywood Hills that offers scenic trails, panoramic views of the city, and celebrity sightings. You can also bring your dog along and enjoy the off-leash areas. Did you know that Runyon Canyon Park covers 160 acres of land and has three main trails, the Easy Fire Road, the Moderate Star Trail, and the Challenging Hero Trail? And that it has a yoga field where you can join free classes every day. And that it has a history of being owned by celebrities such as Errol Flynn, John McCormack, and Carol Lombard. These are just some of the many amazing things to do in Los Angeles. Of course, there are many more attractions and activities that you can explore depending on your interests and preferences. But before you book your trip, here are some tips on how to save money and enjoy your trip. The best time to visit Los Angeles is from March to May or from September to November, when the weather is pleasant and the crowds are thinner. The best way to get around Los Angeles is by car, as public transportation is limited and unreliable. You can rent a car or use a ride-sharing service like Uber or Lyft. The best way to find cheap flights to Los Angeles is by using a flight comparison website like Skyscanner or Kayak. You can also sign up for alerts and deals from airlines and travel agencies. The best way to find cheap accommodation in Los Angeles is by using a hotel booking website like Booking.com or Hotels.com. You can also look for alternative options like Arumb or Couchsurfing. The best way to find cheap food in Los Angeles is by visiting local markets, food trucks, or ethnic restaurants. You can also use apps like Yelp or Zomato to find reviews and ratings of nearby places. The best way to find cheap tickets to attractions in Los Angeles is by buying them online in advance or using a city pass like Go Los Angeles or City Pass S. You can also look for free or discounted days at museums and parks. We hope you enjoyed this virtual travel guide on Los Angeles and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.